the use of artificial intelligence is an increasing trend that is that that, that, the, that the army is adopting um, to mark targets in Gaza, and I think a good year to, to to look at to understand its beginning with relation to Gaza is 2019, when um, the chief of staff Aviv Kochavi uh, introduced this new division in the military called the Targets Division, and its idea was to bring together hundreds of soldiers and basically start to develop these AI algorithms and automated software to accelerate the target creation for, for strikes with life and death consequences in Gaza. They were being judged not by the quality of the targets that they were producing, but by the quantity. So power targets is a concept that was developed according to intelligence sources in the military first in 2014. And the military defines power targets as residential high-rise buildings. So they have eight floors, 12 floors, 14 floors. And the official military's claim is that in each of these buildings there is military target that merits, that legitimizes bombing down the entire building. The idea of power targets is to purposely attack buildings that have all of these civilian apartments in them in order to put pressure on Palestinian civilian society in Gaza, which is then translated to pressure on Hamas, civilian pressure on Hamas. One source said that there was this idea that if we bomb the high rises, it causes uh, the civilians to feel like Hamas is not sovereign, like they have lost control. One source said that he felt this was a form of a terror tactic.